Hey, so for our Vampire the Masquerade Revised Edition uh, screen, this is what we get. This one is a lot more blue, a lot more purple, and unfortunately I don't have the best condition one to go through. Um, but yeah, that is one panel. Here's another panel, yet another one, and our fourth one. Kind of a drastic shift here, but a lot cooler artwork to look at for your players. So the inside has the traditions. So this lets the game master recall it. <laughs> in play uh, if I can focus that yeah there we go traditions um, I'm not sure what that is what does that say armor chart <clears throat> generation chart bleeds over and then your aura colors uh, looks like we have blood points and hierarchies of sin for humanity uh, looks like this bleeds over again, feats of strength, but a firearm chart. Actually, what is that? Close combat maneuvers table. Ranged weapons chart. Some more weapons, melee weapons. We've got... What is that? Combat summary and difficulties. Combat summary with some standard difficulties. And then finally experience points. Fire, sunlight. What is that one? Vehicle and health change. There. A lot of tables here, a lot of useful tables and info here and I actually like the artwork to revised a lot more I think this is a I think this is this is when I got into vampires with revised um, the artwork here I think is so cool and interesting and it's a shame that some of the pieces in the 20th anniversary edition were rushed because they really don't look that great some of them don't uh, this one like most of the revised stuff comes with the storyteller's companion so this like most of the other companions just kind of flushes out stuff um, this is about let's see how many pages is this uh, about 70 pages and the last couple pages is the expanded character sheet. So now you have a four page character sheet. Here is the standard one. Page two, other traits, rituals, experience, derangements, blood bonds, and combat. And the next two expanded backgrounds, possessions, havens, history, appearance, and coterie, and a character sketch. So before you just had the one, and you kind of wrote that stuff on the back. Now they fully fleshed out the, the character sheet to include that. Let's look through this real quick. Yeah, this is... This is some of the art that was in revised, this heavy Tim Bradstreet black and white stuff. Character kind of overlooking his city. How to use this book. Chapter 1 looks through three of the lesser families of kindred. Chapter 2 goes through secondary abilities. Chapter 3 is disciplines. Chapter 4 is equipment. So, Bloodlines, The Daughters of Cacophony, Salubri, Samedi, 
secondary abilities, grace, instruction, interrogation. Each of these seem to have a nice little picture on the side. Mimicry Masquerade is an actual ability here. Ventriloquism, Pilot, Mediate, oh, not mediation, meditation, sleight of hand, cryptography, knowledges, some expanded disciplines for you. Obey, O B E A H, Obia, Thanatosis. Uh, very short section on that. And then equipment more firearms, firearm traits, rifles, pistols, Ruger, Thompson, telescopic sights. I've never really gone too heavy into combat in a game of Vampire. I've definitely never had to break down rifle scopes. But maybe that's something I should try. More combat focused version of Vampire. Military grade weaponry. Military weapons should never fall into the hands of player characters in a Vampire the Masquerade game. Heavy machine guns, tanks, attack helicopters, artillery, jet fighters, and the like are so far outside the scope of personal combat as to be completely ludicrous. Yeah. There's the front again, if I didn't leave that there. Yeah, that is the revised edition vampire uh storyteller screen and book and uh thank you very much for watching